So, guys, Manchester City defeat Manchester United at the Etihad Stadium, and Manchester United lose 3-1 to Manchester City. It's garbage, man. Once again, we go up 1-0 early in the game. Marcus Rashford with a good long shot screamer from outside the 18-yard box. I'm like, okay, we go up 1-0 early, and then Manchester United do what they usually do and fall the fuck apart because this is what we always do. It's always against the bigger teams. We fall apart. We just fall apart. We fall apart. We play Peaches and Cream FC, Oodles and Noodles FC. We're fine. We got our full strength team out. We play against League Giants. We play against League um, teams at the top of the table. We're bringing on Kuma Lala and fucking um, who who else did we bring on? Uh, Forsen. Who who are these guys? What are we doing? We're freestyling. I saw a formation before the game. He had McTominay at center attacking mid and Bruno on the fucking wing. When Anthony's on the bench. Why is Bruno on the fucking wing? Why is Bruno out wide? What are we doing? We're freestyling. We're freestyling. And I'm going to look at this formation. Because I'm going to start going back and looking at this stuff. Because this stuff needs to be track kept. This is some ridiculous shit, bro. We go up 1-0 with Rashford that is shot from fucking from Narnia out of nowhere. Bang. Bar, bar down. Post down. Goal. 1-0. Then Foden cuts inside on his left foot. You can't leave Foden open on his left. He's left footed. Duh. Don't let him come inside on this left. Bo goal, 1-1. One, one. Then Foden gets space in the box. It's a wrap. 2-1. And then Holland finishes it off. Thank you so much, and that's game over. This team is garbage. I know people are going to say, well, we won uh, four out of our last six games. You know, you know, give the manager time. See, he's building a philosophy. Um, uh, We could get top four. Uh, we could get the third place FA Cup or, or the third down level cup FA Cup. Why are we lowering the standards? Why are people lowering their standards? Raise your standards. It's low. The bar is low. They have whittled us down. These Glazers have whittled people down over the past 12 years. The bar has dropped. We had Cantona, Rooney, Skulls, Giggs, Ronaldo, all these guys. And the standards are lowering every season. We got Johnny Evans in 2024. Johnny Evans. Why are people accepting this? Why? And they're co-signing it with this manager. I don't have a problem with Ten Hag. I don't care who's manager. I, a fucking kid could be manager at this point. I want to win. When I'm going back, look at this formation, bro. We set out the park, the bus. Look at this formation 4 1 4 1. 4 1 4 1. We got four midfielders and four defenders. Two backs of four. We went out there to fucking park the bus and hit on the couch. And that's exactly what we did. We parked the bus and hit on the break. No, no, no. Hold up. Before the game, the formation, he had McTominay at Cam. Look at Bruno. Why is he left mid? Because we don't have a winger. That's what people are going to say. I, I don't know. Bring. I don't know. That's on the Glazers, man. Because look at this bench. Look at the bench. Look at this bench, man. Ungwingi? Toby Collar? I would have bought on Diallo and put him at left. He's, he's more of a winger than Bruno. Put Bruno middle, take Kobe off, and put Diallo on the wing. Put Anthony over there. Why, do, why am I saying this? Why aren't you doing this, uh, Mr. Ten Hag? Why do I see this? Who the fuck are these? Habib, Toby, Diallo, Erickson? Well, Erickson, okay. Kumbalala. But we got one, two, three um, youth team players on our bench. We're f um, uh, uh, let me go back to this last game. Pretty much the same thing. Our bench is garbage, man. But see, we got our full strength team out pretty much. But, but well, well, if that's our full strength team, we're cooked. We're cooked. I'm, I'm gonna go back. We're playing the four two three one in this game. Let's go back to the Fulham game. I'm going back. I'm going back. Four two three one. Same thing. Same thing right here. Forsen, Rig Moreau, Maguire, Lumpy. We we still don't have a registered left back. We got rid of Regulon. Now we don't have a left back. This club is running itself into the ground. Let me go back to this other game. Where's it at? Where the, where's it at? Luton Town. These are the past three games we played. And we win these games. We don't win the, the big game. Kick rocks, man. Hoyland's out injured. Maguire's apparently out injured. All these guys are out. This is pretty much our full strength team right here. Against Luton Town. Luton Town. 
rooting. But when it really matters, it's like, oh, well, you know, people are out. Oh, kick rocks, man. Kick rocks. Just kick rocks, man. Like, I'm so over this, man. Oh, oh, you know, L10 High's doing it on the injured squad. Everybody's got injuries. Every team's got injuries. People get injured all the time. Injuries, injuries. In that's not an excuse. Get it. You know, that's not an excuse anymore. I'm tired of the excuses. I want to win. I want to win. People talking about, oh, I'll take a draw. I'll take a 2-0 loss. What the hell, man? Look at how far the mighty have fallen. Man United fans are accept would accept the 2 0 loss before the game kicks off. Look at the standards, man. Look in the fucking mirror. Look at these standards that have dropped over the past 10 years. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, man. We don't even have a left back. We got Linderloff at left back. He's a center back. What are we doing? We don't even have a left back. Why are we relying on only Luke Shaw? Malassi is wherever he is. I don't even know. He's having problems. His injury isn't healing. So, a dog, go get a left back. I don't understand, man. It, it's it, it's so stupid, man. If I can see this, I don't know why these guys can't see it. We got Bruno at left mid. We had McTominay at center attacking mid. There was one point in the game, we had Bruno Fernandez and McTominay at striker. Both of them in a 4-4-2. If you go back and let him, it was a 4-4-2. We had Bruno and McTominay at striker. What is this motherfucker doing, man? What is he doing? I know we're losing, but we're cooked, man. Anyway, man, I, I don't know what else to say, man. I, I'm, 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 I'm over it at this point, man. This team, the team's expectation to fall in from grace. It's another loss. People are going to try to, you know, obviously people are going to, some people are going to come out and justify it, saying that he did it on the limited squad with it. Kick rocks. Oh, we can still get top four this season. Kick rocks. I don't care about top four. I'm done with that shit. I'm done. I don't care about top four. That's third, fourth loser. Why do you want fourth, fifth loser? Why do people accept fourth, fifth loser? Oh, we get in the Champions League. Who cares? What are we doing in the Champions League? What are we doing? Nothing. We do nothing. We literally finished bottom of the group this season in the Champions League. What are we doing? We go in the Champions League and do nothing but get embarrassed. What are we doing? It's ridiculous, man. You know, these teams are coming for blood, man. They're not coming in, coming in slow. Man City played in third, second gear. Walking pace. Had us pe back on the edge of our own box. We're Man United. We're playing like fucking Stoke. We're pegged on the back of our edge of our own box. That's what Luton would have done. Or something. On the edge of their own box. We're playing like a, like a relegation team against Man City. Going in scared. Why? <laughs> Standards are lower, man. Y'all let me know down below what you guys think in the comment section, man. This is garbage. Just maybe not you guys. I'm out.